Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, I am going to be Sherlock Holmes and I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Sherlock Holmes vs Jack the Ripper. Uh, the reason I'm playing this is because there's a new Sherlock coming out in about, what, seven days or so, eight days, and um, I'll be play doing a playthrough of that or a let's play of that as well. So let's get started shall we. Lovely music. In wonder, the name of ooh. my health and yours, Holmes, stop smoking so much. There is Terrible more fog habit. in our apartment than in the street. You are right, Watson, but this evening is never ending, and I have nothing to do but make smoke rings. A more amusing pastime would suit better, but my doctor is against it. Perhaps a little tune on the violin. Good my idea. heart is not in it tonight, Watson. Have you noticed how this cigarette burns? Would you not say it is like a life being consumed? How many lives will end tonight in London? How many crimes will be committed within the life of a single cigarette? Ah, the vanity of existence. It is but complaints and smoke, yeah. the meagre panache of its sickly soul. Meager the tobacco panache. is giving you very somber thoughts. I am certain that this inactivity will not last. Let's retire. You'll be in better humor tomorrow. I'm Reason sure I will speaks. be. Let's to bed. Let's to bed. Hopefully they're separate beds. Oh. What's all this? Do I have control? No. What does that say? Frogwares. A new adventure of Sherlock Holmes. They could at least write with better bloody writing so you can actually read it. Fucking hell. Commercial Street, did it say? Oh, some tramps. Piss, piss head there, we've got. 1888, and we've got piss heads. Whitechapel, London. 31st of August, 1888, 3.20am. That clock said 2.30, didn't it? Let's ignore that. Where my lovely, we'll have a right good oh, time. Darling. Wait, let me help you. Oh, is this me? Oh, it's my hair that pleases you. Brutal. What the fuck? Sounded like she, he just cut her bloody organs out. It's better not be me. I'm meant to be Sherlock fucking Holmes, man. Oh, for you. It was just a f strange the news vision. Is as dark as the sky, Holmes. An inquest has been opened into the murder of a poor woman in the East End. The unfortunate girl was discovered last night, lying in the street, still warm. The murderer was filled with an incredible savagery. Oh, the article gave me shivers down my spine. The inspectors in charge of the case don't seem to have even the slightest lead. A similar murder took place less than a month ago. Ah, love. A romantic walk, a kiss in the moonlight, a polite refusal, a terrible anger, and a hanging. This area of Whitechapel is a disgrace to London. The government should take serious note of what is going on there. Whitechapel? This woman was found in Whitechapel? Yes, indeed. Whitechapel? Bucks Row, to be specific. Then it was not a question of romance, but of commerce. Unless these women actually take pleasure in the vice, the female nature is completely... Holmes! Do you hear yourself? A woman is dead under unspeakable circumstances. 
No less than any other, she was a human and one of Her Majesty's subjects. None of these streetwalkers of which you speak have any other way to survive but by selling their bodies. You know as well as I that our era is not a gentle one. Prozies, and these women don't have much to look forward to. Some grace, if you would. Do not refuse them your compassion. Do not say another word, my dear Watson. We shall leave immediately for Whitechapel. To the scene of the crime? No, I think it would be better to arrive there a bit later once night has fallen. At the moment, the spot will be overrun by police officers and spectators. It would be impossible to investigate properly. Then where are we going? Home? We're going to investigate the, the crime. The would be to head to the police station and attempt like to get 24 a hours copy after of the preliminary reports. But the article in the Times seemed quite complete to me. You must Where's know, the logic? Watson, that journalists often draw conclusions from the facts without a proper understanding of how to do this delicate task. We must obtain the reports from the inspector in charge, as well as those from the coroner. Very well, Holmes, but all the same. It seems to me that I have a map of London somewhere, Watson. Can you find it and locate Whitechapel while I get ready? Hmm. You are too kind, Holmes. Searching through your mess? Woman lured to buy streets to be butchered. The latest victim identified. I'll talk like uh, Sherlock. Opening of the inquest. Great local excitement. The victim of the latest Whitechapel horror. The woman who was found yesterday morning in Buck's Row completely disemboweled and with her head nearly gashed from her body was for a time completely unknown. As the news of the murder spread, however, first one woman and then another came forward to view the body, and at length it was found that a woman answering the description of a murdered woman of the murdered woman had lodged in a common lodging house eighteen Thrall Street Spitalfields. Woman from the that place were fetched and they identified the deceased as Polly. Oh shit, where are we? Uh, uh, oh, I see it's flicks the whole bloody hell, there's, there's a lot of shit here. Let's not go through all this bollocks. Anyway, point is, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Let's go, yeah, uh. Resume first person. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Let's play the uh, the violin. Holmes's violin. Oh, I'm Doesn't play nearly enough, if you ask me. I must be Watson then, Doctor Watson. Let's go and. Well, well. Holmes has received some French champagne with a card. With a card, a gift from a young admirer, signed Raoul Dandrecy. Who on earth could that be? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? He says a map. So this, this, that's a map, isn't it? A map of London. At, At last. last. Let's, let's see, see the, the district, district of Whitechapel. Uh. Oh, but I wonder if I can see where I live. That'll be fucking cool, wouldn't it? Let's go to the map of London. Oh, this is the map of London. Okay. Um, police I station. I found the map, Holmes, and I was able to locate the Whitechapel police station. Well done, Watson. Well Come done, on. Watson. The game is afoot. You can read the article to me on the way. We have arrived, well Watson, done, Dr. in Whitechapel. Watson. Ho, ho, ho. Not very bright, and what cold. Brr, a typical London morning. Come, Watson, let's find this police station. I will have to pause you, for my father is calling me Dr. Watson. Oh, fuck it, I missed it. <coughs> I have returned, Dr. Watson. Let's proceed, shall we, to this police station. Why are you looking at me like that? Let's go. 
Well, this station isn't very well kept, I say. Don't be it's so a local fussy. Post Watson. The daily tasks that confront these constables are not the easiest, and they are poorly paid. Very poorly paid. This police station is like a laundry. What a scandal. Oh, do shut up, Dr. Watson. Gentlemen, welcome. Hello, I would like to speak with the Chief Inspector, if you please. Constable Humphreys here. I am the only All one right. here at the moment. How's so, it going? what do you want with the Chief? My name is Sherlock Holmes. I am. Sherlock Holmes? Yes. The detective that I read about in the papers? That's right. Well, that's a treat, that is. You come about the Buck Road case, have you? Indeed. We. Not at all. Uh, we were just passing by chance. You say that there was a crime recently. You don't know. Dr. You must Watson's be the only folk in London cover. who haven't heard. It won't be long until you find the culprit, no doubt. Nothing is less certain. Suspects, zero. Clues, zero. Fuck. It's not good for us, especially not in this district. Gonna have to pause it again. Fucking shh. Oh shit, I can't. Oh wait. Oh crap. I have returned to my investigation. So what am I doing now? Clicking shit. The reports. Listen, this isn't what I came here for, but if I can be of service, in a confidential capacity of course, if you can entrust me with a copy of the preliminary reports, I, I could, could study, study them, them and return, return later, later with, with my, my conclusions. conclusions. Hmm. It's just that these are well, official so, documents. Well, I can't take a decision like that without the inspectors. The sooner we know the facts in the file, the sooner we can be of help, my friend. So, if you are Sherlock Holmes, you can find anything, isn't that true? With your magnifying glass, footprints? My performance is often embellished by my biographer. Oh, good. Good. I will give you the reports, but could you do me a small favour first? During my rounds, I dropped a leather folder containing some papers. Uh, nothing of importance, but it's a big mistake. I would go looking for it myself, but I am stuck here on duty. I must have lost it near the seedy boarding house not far from here. Left when you leave the courtyard and left again in the lane. Perhaps you could go ask around. We shall see what we can do. Are we going to go look for these documents? Why not? It'll give us an occasion to take a tour of the district, Watson. Yes. Oh, suspicious bike. It looks like a a wooden penis. Don't you agree, Doctor Watson? No. Very well. We shall. Oh, oh. A tramp. Let's go and speak to the tramp, Doctor Watson. The peasant. Come, my lord. A little coin. Oi! Oi! Oh, wrong oi. This guy looks uh, like he's shat himself. Excuse me, my good man. What are you looking for? Tricks, opium, girl, sailor. That's a scary man. Get the fuck away. Save me, Dr. Watson. You're in a rush, my pretty. Come, mm. I'll have you done so quickly you'll only have time to pay. Oh, I bet you will, love. You dirty slag. Hmm, I have nothing to ask. He's got a cold sore on his lip, look. Infected. Facial herpes, that is, man. Some sort of tattoo with blood all over it. That's fucking scary. I've wasted enough time with you. You don't understand nothing. You fucking dickhead. Get lost. He's ginger as well. Dickhead. Bloody carrot top. Hmm. I have nothing to ask. Yeah. Well, this uh, investigation is going very well. Excuse me, my good man. Out of the way, I don't like the look of you. Out of the way, uh, Mr. Bean. I don't like the look of you. Alright, just this is gonna be the longest bloody let's play ever. Fucking hell man, I haven't done anything yet. Come on, horse, tell me something. 
What about this door? No, that isn't a door. Oh. On this poster is written, Club for Socialist Jews, the Cradle of Liberty. Interesting. Very interesting. Why don't we go inside? Or, well, Come oh, along, piss off, you tramp. A little coin. Oi. Bloody tramps, honestly. Don't you agree, Dr. Watson? This guy, look at this guy, this is the one. Pardon me, but can you give me some information? Ah, uh, misery is a terrible thing. Well, thank you for that uh, useful information, sir. I'll be on my way. There's the police station again. Um, Dr. Watson. I have no reason to go that way. Dr. Watson, could you assist me in where the fuck I'm meant to go, please? What are we doing, Holmes? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Aha! Good evening, sir. You wouldn't happen to have seen a leather folder on the ground around here, would you? Evening, gentlemen. Finley, caretaker of this building. I ask. Here to serve. And yes, less than an hour ago. But some of the local urchins picked it up, and God only knows where it might be now. That's unfortunate. This folder See contains urchins. documents that the local police will miss. Your inspectors? That's right. Not at all. I am Dr. Watson, and this is Sherlock Holmes, the detective. Sherlock Holmes, the great detective. You must be here about last night's murder. That's Have right. Have you discovered the identity of the poor woman? Indeed, I had only to read the papers. Mine is dated from this morning, and it does not say who it is. Interesting, because... I'm not really engaged in this case, but if I can help the police, I will do so willingly. Oh, to be sure. I've been told that Inspector Aberline is in charge. A very capable man. So, according to you, I have no chance of finding this folder, then? Indeed. But I, on the other hand, should be able to find it. Do me a favour in exchange. A vagrant comes almost every night to sleep in one of the nooks not far from my windows. He coughs, howls, sometimes even sings. He's quite hefty and I don't dare approach him. I've lost three clients because of him. If it's you who speaks to the police, they will take this matter more seriously. Tell them about the captain. They'll know who you're talking about. In the meantime, I'll find your bag. Let's go to the police station. The police station. So, gentlemen, have you found my sack? So, gentlemen... Not quite yet. Do you know a vagrant who goes by the name of the Captain? Captain? Yes, an old sailor, strong as a Turk and tattooed from head to toe. The drink has turned him into a derelict. He appears to be causing some problems for the caretaker of the building at the end of the street. What do you want us to do? Every night, stairwells, halls and porches become public dormitories and people don't only come to sleep. I believe this man has a niece who puts him up sometimes. Her lodgings are in Commercial Street, right after the alley with the boarding house. You won't forget my folder, will you? The great Sherlock finding Do you believe this folder. woman will agree to have her uncle stay with her? No idea. Oh well, let's go see her just the same. Good mean, isn't it? We're like just getting rid of some tramp. Hmm. I have nothing to ask. I don't talk to peasants. Oh, there's a woman up there. Ooh. Oh, I see. Right clicking. There. This is where the niece of the captain must live. Oh, yes.
Good day, miss. Would you happen to be the niece of the man known as the captain? Oh, yes, that would be me. What has he done this time? He isn't... Oh, my God. I'm on my way. Miss, we have come to ask if you could have your uncle come live with you. He sleeps under the windows of a tenement and causes the caretaker no end of problems. I know. I I've lodged him for a while, and he was the same here. My landlord made me kick him out. I'm ashamed, you know. I never should have, given the state of his health. He coughs day and night. There might be a way to calm his cough. I am a doctor. I could examine him. He went to see a doctor at the clinic. But the medicine costs too much. I can hardly pay my rent. We will see to it. Where might your uncle be found? I don't know. He must be in the vicinity, but I don't know exactly where. Miss, we have come to ask if you could have your uncle come live with you. I oh, know. Oh, I've seen all that. We will find him. We will Holmes, find him. This is serious. Find an alcoholic in Whitechapel? A needle in a haystack would be easier. Come, dear doctor, let's trust to our lucky star. Moreover, we also have our informers, remember? Are you referring to those brats to whom you are always giving charity? Exactly. My secret police. Some of them must surely roam in this area. It suffices to find them. Ah, yes. Well, that gave me a good fucking clue, didn't it? Ah, right here. Excellent. Hello, young man. How are you? I recognize him. It's the lad who sells newspapers, who is always calling outside our windows at Baker Street early in the morning. Hello, Mr. Holmes. It's a treat to see you again. What can I do? The captain. Would you happen to know an old sailor who goes by the name of the captain? A poor man who hits the bottle a bit hard. Of course, Mr. Holmes. He's there at the end of the street. Round to the left he is. But be careful. He can be a tough customer, that one. Very good, my young man. The doctor will give you a little something. Watson? Huh? I say, Holmes. Is he always such a skin flint with you, Mr. Holmes? Well, thanks to you, Mr. Holmes. Anytime you need me. At the end of which road? Now, that's not very good, is it? Let's just try this way. Aha! I can hear someone <laughs> coughing more than his natural homes. Yes, Watson. The poor man cannot be too far away. Yes, I see him now. Hello. If, in order to listen to us, this man imposes as condition that we find his pet cockroach, uh, there will be another murder in Whitechapel today, Watson. Yours. Ah! A strange thing to say. He is in a critical state, Holmes. He has barely a month left. Is there a way, dear doctor, to ensure that this last month passes in silence? Really, Holmes, sometimes you... Oh, really? I will make note of some medicine to get immediately that will relieve his pain. Very well. I will locate an apothecary or a clinic. Brutal. Right, anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now, guys. Um... I don't know how fun this will be. Seems pretty drawn out, but hopefully it'll get better. And I will see you guys uh, in the part two of this let's play of Sherlock versus Jack the Ripper. Cheers, guys.